Hey guys, it's your boy Vibag with more Marvel Fusion Fight content and we have the update details for the October update right now. So without further ado, let's just dive right into how it goes. The Phoenix has chosen a new host. So basically it's gonna be the Enter the Phoenix update. It's gonna have three uniforms, Captain America, Wolverine and Hyperion as we already know. And of course Hyperion as the new tier 3 of the game. Confirmed of course, 2.0. So, in addition, we have the artifact that can enhance uh, instinct abilities and boost obelisk and boost comic card that can change unnecessary material for new inventory spurs can be added. What the hell? Okay, so they have improved obelisk and comic cards. Okay, so maybe for uh, inventory space. Interesting. And, the, and of course, we have the new time on survival threat level. So, 4 to 6, I think you will be able to earn some artif artifacts. Three uniforms, we have the Captain America, enter the Phoenix uniform. All of the uniforms are gonna be 1050 crystals each. Uh, yeah, these are actually 1050 crystals each, so n n not, a, not like 750 or something like that. Anyways, so it's instinct and stuff like that, justice, heroism. So the uniform effect is now 20% all attack, fire damage by 20%, okay. When hit, of course, we have the immunity and the uh, buff for 20%. Frenzy buff basically every 20 seconds, which is not like a huge buff, but definitely the fire damage will help him out. And probably all of his skills now will deal fire damage. So we will see the effect of it. Ultimate heroic charge also has been a little bit buffed. Maybe I'm not sure how much I'll have to go through the comparison and we can see about that. Tapping and holding the skill will charge the skill. So it is, it is still exactly the same skill. Sadly, Captain America did need those changes, you know, because, you know, some, sometimes it can be really, really weird to charge up that tier 3 skill and sometimes can actually mess your rotation up, but we'll see how that performs. So we have decreased movement speed, 50% ignore defense, ignore target dodge rate 100%, which was already there, I believe so. 80% penetration, then we have super armor or basic defense, 5%. Immunity, basic attack, 15% increase. And then we have accumulation. Uh, as well for the accumulated damage basically the accumulated damage taken which is definitely gonna be nice and of course we'll have to time it so that the beast hits you to get some, the most damage so and 50% uh, boost to all basic attack for 20 seconds as well so hopefully this is enough to make him really really good in a lot of those content so we'll see definitely i'm gonna be purchasing the uniform for sure 60 percent rate when debuffed so i think they uh, buff the rate of that we will remove all debuffs that uh, uh that's the captain america passive that has been out for quite some time actually since since she came with the game actually then we have the activation rate when skill phoenix slam is used so phoenix slam is the fifth skill so uh, every single time you use the fifth skill you will be able to get your super armor 40 percent ignore defense skill damage and bonus damage for six seconds so that is amazing every single time you use a fifth skill you will be able to get that bonuses which is amazing then uh, decreased basic damage received as well so a lot of pvp plus pve with the skill damage bonus damage looks nice interesting first skill has basically stun immunity and that's all normally then we have the second skill has the bleed damage all right still no other effects third skill shield slam has paralysis and the basic defense increase so yeah okay he gets paralysis awesome fourth skill has burn bleed as well as invincibility and some extra damage which is awesome that's great actually they gave him uh, some all the uh, basic defense to enemies minus 10% as well which is nice as well so burn and uh, that and silence as well on the fifth skill it has burn and silence and freaking paralysis on the same skill which is amazing so he gets all of the cancels he could become the combat meta but uh, yeah let's see i think and actually he does stay superhero so maybe crescent slash venom both might be out this time because all the cancels let's see how that goes then we have Wolverine. Okay, he looks a bit weird, honestly speaking. I hope he looks better in the game. So, uh, we have the uniform uh, effect. 15% chain it at uh, when attacking, which is nice. Skill damage, bonus damage, which is nice. HP below 30%. Uh, recovery of 100% of max HP for 140 seconds. It's a nice passive. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how tanky he is in PvP. Ultimate skill, they also changed the... Ultimate skill, I'm not sure if the animation has changed, but it does have the burn now, which is great. 
uh, apart from the burn it has the two damage dealt to enemy which is amazing and of course no other buffs on this thing so that's all right we got the buff we got the buff on that one uh, passive we have ignore defense and then the same uniform the wolverine passive six percent recovery of max hp every single one second with uh, when below 99 percent health awesome tier 2 passive weapon x also is i think exactly the same i believe so maybe a bit different Guaranteed critical rate might have been increased, but it is 50 is very, very good. First skill has stun, second skill has stun, third skill has counter attacking, which is amazing, and ignore targeting. So it's gonna be very, very good for one shotting characters. Burn plus silence on the third skill, huge changes to his kit for sure. 50% chance to penetrate everything, immunity to two seconds, and the 80% attack buff for two attacks. That is really good, okay? Attack proc for two attacks, amazing, and a 50% attack buff as well. That is crazy. Wow. So then we have uh, burn damage again and the stun and this thing and the last skill has nothing. So basically it has burn and uh, silence but it does not have paralysis I guess. So I'm not sure if that's gonna even affect. I don't think that he's gonna be meta. I think he's gonna be very very good in PvP but not ABX or those things. But he could actually be really nice in World Boss Legend now. The buffs are very very good plus the fifth skill also give him some really nice juicy buffs which is amazing and the chance to penetrate and the bleed damage so pretty nice hyperion entered the phoenix update hyperion definitely needed this rework uniform effect everything is changed basically this is the upgrade from the base kit getting critical rate 20 percent and the file damage 25 percent so that is amazing all allies all basic attack by 55 percent uh, uh, uh. okay so the leadership is boosted from 45 to 50 now which is awesome uh, then we have the solar passive when hit 50% of max HP recovery guard hit against one hit immune to stun effect which is nice tier 2 passive 60% uh, chance to penetrate basically everything I believe not the shield but all damage immune and invincibility and barrier super armor PvP passive and the skill damage bonus damage the first skill has uh, ignore targeting and the burn just like sentry okay not the burn but just the ignore targeting second skill has all defense all speed decreased by 25 percent paralysis okay burn and paralysis here third skill has burn 20 percent of xp recovery remove all debuffs which is amazing and the 20 percent all attack frenzy buff as well which is nice the fourth skill has stun incapacitation and the all defense down stackable up to 50 percent although it does not really matter because world boss ultimate basically is a joke these days immunity for three seconds and another 30 percent attack buff so two buffs on two skills consecutively fifth skill uh, has burn stun as well as 50 percent all defense down invincibility uh, 15 percent all attack accumulated damage which is i think gonna be the accumulated based on the damage received and then we have the total rate of accumulate cannot exceed 50 percent xp so accumulation fourth skill and third skill frenzy buffs burn and uh, yeah the kit looks nice it does not look to be a meta kit but something uh, you know things can be different i don't think uh, wanda will be replaced but we'll see if she if he actually has a really good play in abx or not but i think he's going to be amazing in pvp for sure hyperion tier 3 skill is this one so he has burn stun bind uh, 60 percent all defense down critical damage 40% ignore defense, immunity, 50%. So apart from the 50% buff for that tier 3 skill, I don't really see some really good buffs. I think the all defense down will help in one-shotting characters, you know, to kill these characters. But apart from the 50% buff, I don't really see a huge listing in the tier 3 skill. Although kind of disappointing. I hoped a bit better, but that's all. No worries. Meteor Strike. It is, of course, from the name, it seems like it's going to be AOV attack. So he could actually become PV meta. So who knows and the tier 3 skill looks like licks let's just see it once and see how this goes he goes up and he shoots in a aov area it's a nice area so it's a burst damage skill it's a just like the blue marvel tier 3 skill it's very like very uh you know in terms of length it's very short but i think it will it will do some new, uh, really nice damage artifact gear to amplify instinct Equip the new gear artifact to heroes and stuff like that. Artifacts are new type of gears that can be obtained from story mode, timeline survival and the store. Artifacts can be acquired from level 1. Story mode, clear normal stage, you will get 1 to 2 star artifact. Ultimate stage, 1 to 3 star. So basically you can, if you want to, you know, if you want to increase your artifacts daily that you get, 
start playing normal mode story as well which is going to be lengthy as hell so i'm not sure how many players will be playing that i might try that but we'll see one to three star artifacts pretty nice timeline survival boss clear stage one to three star map clear stage one to three star daily rewards one to six probably one or two six one to three star artifacts so you can get one up to six of that and three star exclusive passive skill artifact so that's like daily rewards you will at least guaranteed get a three star ex exclusive skill artifact which would be nice but we'll see how that really rolls out when the update lands one to three star artifact from the store purchase and the dimension chest with one to three star artifacts again so they are basically focus focusing on that store purchase artifact tokens artifact tokens 110 will give you four star uh, passive skill artifact which will definitely boost your character stats i guess the damage from these skills the passive probably make like 55 percent attack could actually be like 40 50 percent attack which would be really good then we have the 230 tokens will give you four star exclusive passive skill art artifact i don't see a difference like the 110 token is the four star and the other one but yeah the other one is actually a selector so you can choose what you want so it makes sense store purchase 75 crystals you can get one to four stars 675 so basically it's the new uh, chest artifact chest that you can actually purchase i'm not sure if that will be good or not a three star is guaranteed but let's see how the rates are going to be maybe we'll have artifact increased chance of just like comic cards and stuff then we have celestial essence uh, and then celestial essence 250 those will be the particles that we will get and you can actually purchase a lot of these stuff so you can read it out all of that i don't want to go too much into details because it doesn't really matter for the gold purchase this is the one that you should be looking for so basically you can see uh can we purchase once daily you can spend 1.25 million gold to try for an artifact chest that can actually give you one to three star artifact or a three three to four star exclusive uh, exclusive skill artifact which is stupid 1.2 million for like a chance to get a three star that's a bit i would say a little bit overpriced in my in my opinion i i hope they change it to maybe two chests or maybe just uh, turn down the price to maybe a million or something so we'll see about that then we have store purchase free daily you can get from one to three star like literally you get you are getting one from daily and then if you want to purchase you can also purchase more if you want to try they're all gonna be ones so let's see how that goes type of rewards on the number may vary depending on the threat level of time on survival rewards all right four star artifacts these will be the chest the new chest dimension chest for this one dimension chest one to three star artifact story ultimate this is the chest how it looks like although it looks really weird honestly speaking artifacts are divided into grade one through six star and some artifacts are applied to exclusive passive skills normal artifacts normal rare advanced exclusive par artifact three to six stars so normal will be one to three star and the exclusive will be three to six three six stars so that's gonna be that and then we have the equip artifacts you can choose a character to do that and you can see it just as increased 80 order increase 80 so basically the the type of instinct that you have on your character you can boost that in instinct using these artifacts which i think will have a really good impact on your abx code and the performance of the character as well so let's see how that goes random substance one amplifies one option among justice cruelty so you can if you get the random substance one you can amplify one of those right random substance two applies specific effect related to instinct so basically uh, you can amplify the type of character or the type of instinct that you have justice clearly order or destruction you can check in the description of the character the second one random substance 2 also applies a special effect related to that particular instinct so captain america having justice could actually get a special power up or probably a boost up to that particular instinct right exclusive passive skills apply passive skills when equipped to the target hero so yeah it's gonna be just who you put on that it does not depend on what your you know type is gonna be for the character the level of skills and stuff like that blah 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 it's just it's just there so you can see it can increase some of the stuff here so we will see how that actually performs in game when we test it out use celestial essence and gold to enhance an artifact which is amazing an artifact uh, can be enhanced up to level 20 that's yeah it doesn't matter anyways so you can use some gold and you will need these celestial i don't know what packs celestial things whatever it was so yeah you can actually improve it to level 20 uh, that's awesome 
Celestial essence can be obtained by dismantling artifacts or through Tamlin survival. So basically, play Tamlin survival. Yeah, please. <laughs> if you want to do that. If picking, uh, equipping a new artifact when one is already equipped, it will destroy the previously equipped one just like Urus and stuff like that. So I'm not sure if you can unequip them. However, the enhanced level of the equip artifact may be transferred to the new artifact. This is really interesting. It says maybe. So if you have a one star or if you have a three star artifact, if you want to change the artifact to like a one star and the one star you think it's going to be a better when it gets to three star, you could or could not, you may or may not get the three star, which is really weird. So I would suggest don't do that. Wait, save your artifact and then use them later on. Anyways, enhanced level transfer condition, the enhanced level of, of the new artifact may be lower than the previously equipped artifact, which is like you can have a three, two star, just like that. You can have a three star uh, getting towards the and getting the place of the four star, but it's not, it says maybe. So it's a chance. You can see it's a freaking chance. So I'm not going to take the chance. I would say don't do that. Boost obelisk and boost comic card, new upgrade material added. Upgrade your cu uh, custom gear and comic cards conveniently. Convert unnecessary items for more inventory space. Uh, comic card and custom gear growth materials item boost comic card and boost obelisk has been added. Growth materials items can be obtained in the inventory by converting custom gear, comic cards, ISO8 items and gold as materials. Materials are divided into six grades. Growth materials do not have other abilities and cannot be equipped. So you can see we can convert the cards if you want comic cards or anything else. And then like if you do convert them, you can actually get boost comic cards. Now what does these boost comic card actually do? So you have these boost comic cards. So basically you will have like better version of the same cards, I guess. Uh, we'll have to see how it actually really performs or how it actually uh, makes that. Growth material can be acquired combined as materials and extreme grade material can be used to change CTP options or to enhance craft or change option. What? You can enhance change options now? That's... Wow, that's really good, you know? So, nice. So, basically they are uh, level 2, level 2 card. So, they are basically a 6 star card 2.0. You can say that. That's interesting actually, that's really really interesting. Definitely. Alright, let's see how about that. So then we have a new timeline threats level. So basically you will need actually less six star cards to get that. You can see I'm already getting this one. Otherwise you would actually already need about six of them to command that. So we'll see about that. Four to six timeline battle threats. Some items, survival tokens, celestial essence, artifacts, artifacts, rewards, and energy. It's the energy distributor that you have these things and then we have the item shop purchase you will have all these items there survival buff as well so that's all right hopefully it does make a nice change to the game mode the game mode is already really you know it's all right <laughs> agents can now first enter the map and prepare for battles when at least one hero is included okay so we can go with one hero uh, in in the battle and maybe change that the character selection UI has been improved. I'm not sure how it has actually been improved, but we'll see about that. The reset and revive pop-up screen shown when less than three heroes are remaining has been removed. All right. That's okay. That's awesome. Revive. No, please don't do that. <laughs> Bring some nice characters. The maximum number of temporal energy has been increased to 10. All right. And the recovery player is to 15 minutes. So you don't have to wait one freaking hour to get your temporal energy uh Restored basically you can get it every 15 minutes, which is awesome and 10 is really good The appearance rate of debuff list have been reduced so that useful item can be appear more only but one buff of the same time will not be applied Okay, right. new season future pass then we have the Kimio agent the white fox special icon and then the venom symbiote icon Also, if you guys are gonna be purchasing these things then we have the no of course no bio selector character with this update so you have the tokens, probably the best thing about that. And we have the freaking look at the Hyperion, dude. Look at the Hyperion. That looks amazing. Those look really, really good. New uniform collection. Then we have three uniforms only. So I think I might be purchasing all of these uniforms and maybe tier 3 Hyperion as well. I might actually mega tier to my Hyperion today as well. So we'll see about that, how this goes. Other information. The ISO's custom gear, Uru, uh, comic cards and artifact tab inventory has been combined. So you can see all of these here and you can select, which is awesome. It helps you to shorten the inventory, helps you navigate, navigate. So which is awesome. You can just select and you can just choose of them. 
the middle screen that has been temporarily removed from fixed legendary battle issue has been fixed i'm not sure what was that the effect of the phoenix force have been improved before the it was giving you five percent of energy attack and five percent of fire damage now it will give you all attack five percent and fire damage three percent as a strikers well as as a normal character as well for the phoenix force so to work with everyone which is awesome it can also help out in as a striker so that would be nice the world boss allies effect has been changed from energy attack to basic all attack all right of course the strikers active still two of crash and lysira have been improved to apply silence effect even when counter attack has been activated upon the skill so you will have to have uh hit of course while you you will have to have uh, maybe one mob around you when you use that skill but you will be able to cancel on the silent season so yeah she got buffed crescent buffed crescent ultimate skill has been improved to activate ignore targeting immune to all debuff and guard break immunity effect once upon the skills it will be a pvp passive but the ignore targeting definitely helps even if okay so even if beast like sometimes goes for the roar you will still be able to hit him with the tier 3 skill so you don't really have to hold that which is really good text will now be displayed as yellow when dodging attacks all right uh cdp reforging steel effect has been improved all right we knew that the buff is coming gamer fixes the issue of the check in board overlapping the issue of the product have run out issue of the team changing issue of the not even able to move logging in button uh issue of the counter attack of hulk buster active skill not being properly activated hulk buster kind of fixed kind of buffed the issue of the sum tags being wrongly displayed legendary battle marvel studios shang chi the legendary battle has been fixed as well so this is going to be it for the update details for this one guys i think i hope you guys understood what is this of course uh, you guys can check out the forums and check yourself if you want to look more forward to of course i will be making a few videos of the shorts but uh, let me know in the comment section what do you think about the update i think it's a pretty sweet update not a lot hard on the crystals captain america might become meta or all the cancels and everything so let's see how that goes crescent getting a buff is that enough to beat captain america we'll see with the update and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one take care